In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to paint Squirtle on your mouth. Who doesn't want a creepy Pokemon on your face? They literally pop up wherever. Let me tell you, there is nothing funnier than when you're singing with a Pokemon on your mouth and it's just absolutely terrifying, but unfortunately I can't put that in because of copyright music. Like, I'm literally filming this clip probably 10 minutes after I just filmed that clip and I'm still singing to myself. <laughs> this is a problem. You guys better believe that I have NSYNC on, Christina Aguilera, like, we're going back to the 90s. Okay, this literally really isn't much of an intro. It's mainly just me telling you guys, like, the time that has lapsed since I've been singing for like four hours now. All of the products I use today will be listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. And yes, I'm sick because I already know it's going to be a question. <laughs> Boom, starting right off with Shelter because this was the first one that inspired me to even do this. Paint on some white eyeballs. You may need to stick your tongue out to get a good grasp of where you're actually placing the Pokemon. And fill in the rest of his surrounding purple body. Using white body paint, highlight the edges as well as dark purple body paint to shade. You can also use dark purple to add some details. Use black body paint to fill in the pupils and the rest of Shelter. For Squirtle, I'm using white body paint to fill in his eyes, then going in with a little bit of brown and black. I'm then filling in the face using a teal body paint. For the stomach, I'm using a yellow mixed with white, then a little bit of white, a little bit of brown, and going back to that same teal. The two brushes that I'm using for these characters are both from my own line of makeup brushes, but the half blue, half black one will be released later 2016. The more you know. Using a darker teal, and then just shading more of Squirtle. Adding a little bit more yellow to his stomach and then outlining everything in black. The most relatable Pokemon for me because I'm also on fire is Charmander. Use white body paint to fill in the eyes and then go back in using a regular colored blue. Fill in the rest of his body using orange, being sure to leave the center open to fill it in a pale yellow. Also adding that same pale yellow to his tail. Using more of a burnt orange and then going in and shading as well as detailing his tail a smidgen. Just like Squirtle, add a little bit of yellow to the stomach and then outline everything else using black. For Pikachu, I'm just going ahead and filling in everything yellow to start out. Using light brown and then going ahead and shading Pikachu as well as adding a darker brown base of his tail. Add a little bit of white for the highlights of his eyes, fill in his eyes, the tips of his ears, and then outline everything using black. Also don't forget about his nose and fill in his cheeks red. This is the most dissatisfied Pikachu I've ever seen in my life. For Bulbasaur, I wanted to have him looking kind of over to the side, so I started off with white and then added in red in his eyes. For the skin color, I mixed together a little bit of teal and a smidgen of green.
For his spots in his back, I went ahead and just used regular Kelly Green. Outline everything using black and don't forget to add his little toenails. And using dark green body paint, I went ahead and shaded his back. Arr, arr. 